Hey, my name is Crowan, and welcome to the top 3 recap for the Gizmos and Gadgets World Championship. Coming in at number 3, we have Woozle's Caitlyn 3 at 2-3. Now this is something that I'm pretty sure nobody expected to see in the championship, but Woozle pulled it out, and not only pulled it out, but leaned fully into it, itemizing it with double Shoujins and a blue buff, managing to even take it to a top 4 finish, and narrowly being able to secure a 4th place finish overall in the whole tournament, just ahead of Goobum. So really good job there, done by Woozle. All right, coming in at number two for the top three surprises was Megubin rocking a Twitch reroll composition all the way to a first place. Reroll coming into the championship pretty much dead on almost everyone's radar, but Megumin said, nope, not me. I'm going to play it, not only play it, but play it well enough to take a victory on day number two, game four. But the Twitch makes it. Megumin with the Twitch reroll gets the first place. I cannot believe my eyes. And even tried his luck at it in the very next game with the same composition, but only really worked once because unfortunately the next time around he did go bottom four, but still a wonderful surprise and a meta defining trend of the tournament. Wait, all, no uh, way. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> uh, wh uh, hello? <laughs> What is happening, Risa? This is unprecedented. And coming in at number one, it was, of course, Dr. O's Silco 2 that he found on 3-5 at level 7. Such insane odds to hit three of the same legendary unit at level 7. It's just, it was the whole game was a roller coaster of emotions, really, because getting that Silco 2 meant that, oh, Dr. O should be fine in this situation, surely, right? But no, while he stabilized for a little bit, the game unfortunately ended with Dr. O in 5th place. Not being able to secure a top 4 there was heartbreaking, but surely, either way, a game to remember. And next, we're gonna have our top 3 oops moments. Coming in at number 3, we have Caster Cats. Now for cat owners across the world, it's not your house, it's your cat's house and you're just living in it. So if they want to come on camera when you're working an important show, they're gonna find a way. But they are cute though. Right Lilith? And coming at number two, we have Megumin Dies. Now, unfortunately, you know, it just wasn't Megumin's game. The comp was okay, but being knocked out before you even get to see your third oh, augment choice, support, yeah, that's a bit much. of a oops. Megumin! This dead! Exactly! Lethal! Not able to see his third augment! And coming in at number one, we have the three Dravens by Lilu. A Sivir, see? Oh, hold on, we're gonna pivot over and look at Lilu, who's also Whoa. rolling. Hold the phone! Did we <laughs> three just Draven. pass a three <laughs> Draven shop? What? Holy I, tunnel I mean... vision, Batman! <laughs> now, Lilu's rolling down. It's a super intense spot, really low HP. Huh, rolls into three Dravens. Hmm, doesn't take them, but hey, I guess we can all look past that when you go on to win the whole tournament, can't we? And now we finally have the top three players coming out of the Gizmos and Gadgets World Championship. Coming in at number three, it was Dudu. Dudu, a super impressive player all around, coming in from Korea, was able to not only play the Sivir composition really well, but just to make some really, really creative boards happen. He was super good at assessing board strength in the early game, using that to push a fast nine, and playing so many exciting late game legendary boards. It was honestly a really well deserved third place. And coming at number two, we have Lu Li. Now, Lu Li was just a half a step behind Li Lu, with both of them entering game number four of the final day of the championship with the opportunity to win the whole thing, even borrowing a comp from Li Lu a little bit earlier with those Lucian Arcanists. Now, similar to Dudu, uh, Lu Li was also really good at playing creative boards, finding ways to top four out of really, really rough spots, and overall, that is what led to Lu Li being able to secure a top two finish overall on the event. Really well done. And finally, coming in at, of course, number one, it's gonna be Li Lu. 
Now, Lilu had a fantastic tournament from start to finish. Not only on day three did he finish in first place, of course, and win the whole thing, but in day two, got first place overall on the day. Carrying a top finish from multiple days is not something that pretty much any other TFT player has been able to do in competitive history. Playstyle, phenomenal. China was seen as one of the strongest regions, if not the strongest coming in for the event, and Lilu absolutely delivered on that promise. A huge congratulations to Lilu. Very well deserved first place finish. And there you have it. That was the top three recap for the Gizmos and Gadgets World Championship. Hope you enjoyed those moments, and we will see you in set seven, Dragonlands.